Hi guys, this is Jason on the corner here with the Yuhans A101s for an unboxing. This is an affordable 3G smartphone. Its design reminds me a bit of the Samsung Galaxy J5. It has a removable back cover and it's available in grey, gold or pink. So it's uh, promoted as a phone for the young people. It's only a 3G phone, does not have 4G and the price is affordable. This is the quick guide teaching you how to handle the device. We have two SIM slots and one micro SD. We also have wipes here to remove the excess dirt and a new USB cable. It seems to be a regular USB, not USB type C. And we also have a charger. And then even more stuff. There is a screen protector here, which always comes in handy if you want to protect your screen. And finally, a case with a pretty nice dot texture, it's flexible, it's transparent and it's welcome bundle with this phone. So pretty nice set of accessories. Now let's fire up the phone and see exactly what flavor of Android we're getting here. So the resemblance with the Samsung Galaxy J5 is pretty clear. Let's turn it on. You should know that we're getting a 2.5D glass panel at the front. It's not too shabby looking, particularly since the back is rather shiny. And it has a 5 inch screen up front with a 720p resolution. It has an IPS panel and a MediaTek processor, the MediaTek CPU. Well, that was loud. So, the MediaTek CPU is a quad core MT6580 unit, and we also get 2GB of RAM and also 16GB of storage and a micro SD card slot. At the back there's an 8 megapixel camera, while at the front for the selfies you're going to have to use a 2 megapixel shooter. And by the way, from what I know, both cameras are capable of doing interpolation, so you can actually take shots with higher resolution, at least uh, virtually. Okay, protection, skipping, this is a 3G only phone, no trace of 4G LTE and all that, so that's it. Okay, the setup was very fast and we have reached the main user interface let's turn up the brightness a little bit that's more like it inside this device there is a 2450 mAh battery and uh, on the OS front we seem to be running a customized version of Android now let's see which Android it's Android 6.0 Marshmallow and this is a dual sim phone that also has Bluetooth 4.0 and GPS and its apps are all on the home screens, there's no app drawer, but there's an interesting way of searching for stuff straight online. Now, the interesting story here is that the camera at the back, this 8 megapixel shooter, has a Sony IMX219 sensor, which is actually the same one used by the DIY Raspberry P, for example. The phone measures 9.5 millimeters in thickness, it weighs 118 grams, which is quite light, and I'm curious about the camera UI, so let's have a look. Okay, so it's been customized as well, it reminds me a bit of the one from the Xiaomi phones. We have HDR, watermark, panorama, normal, night and film mode, um, plus uh, some extra settings here. Quite a generous setup this one.